What up you guys? Today is another great day. Every day is great. You just have to make it great because you can always have a bad day. You can always cry about it. You can always, you know, it can always be bad. You can be like, oh man, I hate this because this, this, and that. You know, it all depends on your attitude. So if you want to make it a great day, you can make it a great day and it can always be a good day. Even in the bad times. So, where I left off is I got a huge package right here. Look at this big thing. What do you guys think it is? It's heavy. And it's gonna be awesome. I really wanted this because it's just gonna make my car a little bit cooler, a little bit faster, not really. But yeah, let's find out what it could be. A lot of packaging. Got whatever that is. And I'll just. Try to... Rip this. Oh. Woo! Enon! I got an Enon. I got some from Enon. What do you guys think it could be? My uh, fellow Mazda Speeders probably know what it is already. But I don't know if the rest of you guys would know what it is. Let's find out. You open this little tab. Woo! Let's go on a road trip. Yay, yay. Yay, yay. And here you guys go. I bought me a radio. Even though my radio is good and don't really need a new radio, I will have bass with this. And you know me, I love my basses. I love my bass. I have a 12 inch sub. I just never put on the car because I needed a radio and this is why I got the Anon radio right here. I have all this stuff and I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to research how to do everything because I'm not going to pay someone to install it because I, you know, save money for mods or whatever. But yeah, that thing is going to look dope in my car and let's do it. I'm so excited to put this in, wire it in, put in my sub, uh, put my 12-inch sub in the back, get my amp hooked up. Oh god, it's just, woo! It's gonna be dope. Okay, you guys. Well, I'm about to put the radio in. I still need to take off everything in the dash, but right now I'm putting this uh, plate on to hook it up to the to the inside without it wiggling, shaking, or moving around. So. I got one screw there, one screw there, and I'll just put this new screw right here. So I'm gonna uh, get the mountain brackets on and then go from there. Got the brackets on there. So now we're just gonna get Andy Daddy flathead, pull up from here and take the air vents off. It's easy, you just kind of like get it through the lines and cracks and just pull it right off. It just clips off. Just got the b bottom two clips off. There you go. Then you're gonna disconnect this thing right here in the middle. See, so you'll take this off, and then there's gonna be a small little clip right here. You take off from this, and the AC vents. After that, there's gonna be two screws right here one, two, and then that's it. You take off the radio, unplug all the wires, and then time to put the new head unit in. And it's as simple as that. Take the two screws off, so I should be able to just. Pull it right off, and there it is. Just kind of pull this side, and then the next side, and then eventually it just kind of pops out. And then back here, just unplug all the wiring back there, and that's it. Okay, so I took out all the cables. When you get your old radio, and you pop it out, there's gonna be three plugs. It'll be the big one, that's easy. This one you clamp down, and then there's going to be a third plug, which has, on top has a small little plastic clip that you're going to have to pull out. And then from the sides, you'll pull it right off. Because me, I didn't know that there was a clip on it, so when I tried to pull, I pulled like one of the wires out. And I had to like re-clamp it and stuff, and it was a pain in the ass, and it sucked ass. So don't, don't do like me and just start pulling wires and shit, know what you're doing. And yeah. So right now, we got the radio in, just kind of trying to 
have to mess with it to get it a little flush or flush you want it to be and then get it um, get the screw in and that's it plug this in just remind myself that I'm not gonna plug all this in yet I'm gonna start the car and see if it works the radio does look good in here uh, let me turn on the key see if it works It's showing the Mazda logo, so I'm guessing it's working. I don't know how Bluetooth works. I got it in. It makes the car look way better, honestly. I like it. I'm just trying to figure out how to connect the Bluetooth to my phone. It's kind of being ass and not working, so I need to figure that out. Okay, so it's been like about a day or two, and here's the uh, the update for the um, for my for my uh, radio. Dude, this thing is pretty sweet. Like here, I can have it. I'm connected to my phone with Bluetooth. You can go to your Apple Music or whatever and just play a song, whatever song you want. And then it would play on here. See? Yeah, I'm back. And then you can play all your songs. Let's see, we'll shuffle it. Yeah. Okay, so it plays all your songs right there. So that's cool. So you can, you know, play your songs, listen to the radio over here, what I was talking about with the navigation and stuff. You can have a navigation sensor in here where it comes with all the additional plugs, but I'm not using that. What I'm using, which uh, someone someone recommended me on the Mazda 3 forums because a lot of people have these kind of radios in the Mazdas, that you can use your Bluetooth for GPS so or your hotspot. And I have like 7, 8 gigs free hotspot that I never really use, so... You can connect your phone's hotspot to the radiator, uh, for radiator, the radio, and so when you do that, like an iPhone or like a regular, like, you know, phone, so I can go Pandora and have that boot up and just have Pandora music on here. I don't have an account, but use that. And then we can go to apps, and then which I really find cool is... I'd find it. Go to the Google Maps. And then there it is. I can be using Google Maps instead of looking on my phone and stuff or having it like mounted on somewhere. I can just use my radiator. Um, radio. Radio as, you know, as my GPS. Pretty cool. And then, really cool thing I like is that you can go on YouTube and watch whatever, whatever the hell you want. I can watch what? Let's see what's on here. Just organic. Andrew from Eliminate. See? Just play any YouTube video you want to. Yeah, that's real cool. And then I can go to back to Bluetooth, and here's my phone. And then there. Okay, well, I hope, hopefully, you guys like this video. And um, uh, in my next video, I'm going to a car meet, which is going to be dope. And it's going to be lit as hell. It's called um, Sundays Don't Suck Car Meet. And it, I've been there before, so we're going to go again in a few days. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.